Hello. All right, so that was super weird, but that's okay, because now you know what you're in for. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Brent. I go to UC Santa Cruz. I'm from Carmo Valley, California, and I love Greek myths, like a lot. I have been a big fan of Greek myths long before the Percy Jackson books came out too. But I also love the Percy Jackson books. So the reason I decided to make this video today is because a really good friend of mine, Bryce, he decided to do the same thing. <laughs> Which is funny because I had the same idea last week. <laughs> you bastard. Don't worry, I'm just kidding. It's actually really funny. You guys should definitely watch it. It's on YouTube. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to put a link on this, but um, if you just YouTube um, Uranus Castrate or something like that, you'll probably find it. Yeah. So I was talking to Bryce afterwards on Facebook, messing like, dude, that was hella funny. And he was like... Dude, thanks. I was like, you bastard. I was thinking of doing the same thing like last week. Except for some reason, I was thinking about doing it on Snapchat. Like the stories. But that's just ridiculous. It's stupid. And then Bryce, being a kind man that he is, he said, you should still do it. You're a funny guy. It'll be great. Wrong. You are wrong, sir. I do not think this is going to be funny at all. But I'm still probably going to post it because I told him that I would. This is probably going to be a catastrophe, but it's okay. I'll be able to laugh at myself afterwards, and then hundreds of millions of people will be able to laugh at me too, so... Thanks. Alright, so back to the Greek myths part, which is... This is why I created the video, was to tell you guys a Greek myth! So, the That's it. That was the myth. Leave. So the actual myth is going to be of how Persephone got turned into Hades' wife. Sorry. This is one of my favorites. So, for those of you that don't know, Persephone was the daughter of Demeter. And Demeter was the goddess of Harvest, I think. Pretty sure she was the Harvest. To be honest, I'm not even sure what Persephone is. Persephone was the goddess of hmm. oh. so all ooh, I, ooh, ooh. block the camera woo woo does that happen a lot maybe yeah. so Demeter like loved Persephone those are her daughters she loved her she fucking took that bitch everywhere she's like all right Persephone we're fucking gonna go and Persephone's like all right well let's go and um hmm one day that ended really, really bad. So one day Demeter decides to take Persephone into a field. I, th I think Demeter was like doing some like, I don't know. I think she was talking to her fans, I don't know, her followers. And um, <laughs> little Persephone decided she would be a little shit-nosed kid and start wandering off on her own. Just because you're an immortal doesn't mean... Fucking kids will be kids just wandering all over the place. By the way, I am kind of using all this information off the top of my head. I've heard and read the myth enough so I can basically get the general idea. So if I get some shit wrong, fucking call me out on it. Fucking fact check me. Say like, yo Brent, you fucking, your facts on myths are, in are inaccurate. And I'll be like, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, thank thank. You're so sweet. Thank, but like, thank you. Like, oh my God, that's so nice of you. So as I was saying, as Persephone was wandering off in the field, dancing and doing shit, Cad Hades down in the underworld liked what he saw. <laughs> Damn, that's a fun ass bitch up there. Mm -hmm. Trying to hit it from behind though. So I should probably add, just in case you guys don't know, Hades is Persephone's uncle, so mm, seems kind of fishy. In fact, Bryce brought it up in his video. There's a lot of incest that goes on with these gods. They just they get kinky with their siblings. Uh, well, it's gross, but no. But I do have a theory that makes it a little bit less gross, 
hopefully. So my theory is that since they're immortals, they're so powerful that each individual is kind of like a new species, like like a, a new power in a way. So it's, I don't know, it's weird. I'm not saying it's the best theory, but it makes me feel better thinking that, you know what, they're completely different species. It's not just because they might have the same mom doesn't mean, like, I don't know. You guys probably aren't going to be satisfied by that, but I'm just saying it's something to think about so that when you're thinking about these myths, you're not thinking, like, ew. All this talk about incest made me ready for a vape break. Just euthanize me. Just give me the coffee. All right, guys, vape break is over. Fitness, y'all. So yeah, Hades saw this fine ass chick, his niece, and uh, he decided, you know, fuck it, dude. This girl's damn. I'm a marrier. I'm I, I'm just gonna take her. So he just fucking rides up in his chariot and creates a crater in the earth and grabs her. So romantic. So yeah, uh, Hades takes Persephone without her consent, which is very bad. Always get consent. Ladies and gentlemen, consent is necessary. Did anyone ever teach Hades that it was okay to, like, steal girls? Or is it just... Did you just not give a fuck? I don't know. Whatever. It's fucking bad. Bad morals. Greek myths have a lot of bad morals in them. There's good morals, and then there's bad morals. Pay attention to the good ones. I'm pretty sure you guys can manage to avoid the ones about kidnapping girls. So Demeter looks over and she sees that she's like, what the fuck, Hades? What the fuck, this little bitch? He just stole my fucking daughter. What the fuck? He's just like, she's just like, what the fuck? He just stole my daughter. My first message is first to Demeter. Why the fuck weren't you watching your daughter? I don't care if you're both immortal. She's your daughter. Watch her. Okay? That's just bad parenting. Come on. Like, put her on... Like, you seen those, like, leashes that people have for their kids? Get one of those. I would get one for my kid. That shit looks hilarious. Or get them, like, like one of those backpacks with the tail leashes, like a monkey. That's so funny. Anyway, Demeter... After just seeing that her daughter was kidnapped, uh, she is just super duper duper depressed. Like, she is really, really upset. And because she's the goddess of the harvest, I think, she's the thing that create like, makes sure all the crops are living. She's, like, so sad that her emotions kill everything. She's the goddess of harvest, and when she's upset, nothing grows. So as Demeter's having her little temper tantrum on Earth that's just causing great famine, great job, Persephone's down in the underworld as the Hades is makeshift bride. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, just being the bride of your uncle as he just kidnapped you and took you to the underworld. Like I said, romantic, bad morals. <sighs> So Persephone is also upset. She doesn't. She doesn't want to be in the underworld. She doesn't want to be fucking Hades' wife. She's daughter of the goddess of harvest. She wants to be frolicking in fields with her mom and like being happy and shit. But Persephone decides to be a dipshit. So one of the rules in the underworld is, if you eat or drink anything in the underworld that is grown in the underworld, you get to stay there. And guess what Persephone did? That's right. This fucking bitch decides to eat a couple pomegranate seeds in the tree that is growing right next to the palace where she and Hades live. First of all, if I was a mortal and just get, got kidnapped by somebody, I probably wouldn't want to eat anything that was like in their home turf. It seems pretty sketch. Second of all... It's also just the fucking underworld. Why would you want to eat anything that's in the underworld? You're immortal. You don't need you don't need food, right? I, right? You're you're not gonna starve. I'll tell you something. Sure as shit, if I were kidnapped by somebody, I wouldn't eat or drink a goddamn thing they gave me. I think that's just common sense. 
Persephone, you're an immortal goddess, but that was a fucking dumb move on your part. So anyways, uh, Demeter is like begging Zeus. She's like, Zeus, yo, fucking get get my daughter back. I Get her back for me. And then Zeus is just like, nah, bitch, she had pomegranate seed. So Demeter is still causing famine because she's really upset that her daughter's gone. And now she can't, she literally can't get her back. It's like the laws of nature are like saying like, no. <laughs> and this is bad because people are dying and that's really bad for the gods because that means that they're losing worshipers they're losing followers and the gods really love their followers like shit they there are like the biggest attention hoes ever they're like the people that nowadays are like just dream of being instagram famous and a-list celebrities and viners and shit like that or youtubers oh Gross. So now that the gods are realizing that uh, Demeter's temper tantrum is costing them followers, they're getting really nervous. They're just like, Demeter, stop, make shit grow. And Demeter's like, I can't, I'm sorry. And so Zeus is like begging Hades now. He's like, you have to return Persephone. They're all dying. Your followers will die too. It sucks. Sorry. Sorry to take away your wife that you stole. My bad, bro. So, Hades being the decent god that he is, despite most people's opinions, he's like, all right, so Persephone's still my wife. You can't have her back forever, but I will let her visit her mother every once in a while. It's pretty nice. All things considered. So... Now that this little bargain has been arranged between Zeus and Hades, he tells Persephone, okay, every, every once in a while you're going to stay with your mom for a couple months, and then you're going to have to come back and live with me. And that's how seasons were born. Uh, okay, so I forget the exact setup for the seasons, but I'm pretty sure it, it goes like this. So whenever Persephone is traveling up from the underworld, it's summer, I think it's summer, I think, like, Demeter's, like, starting to get happier, um, once again, fact check me if I'm wrong, that part might be sketch, I don't know, but I know for a fact that whenever Persephone is back with her mom, it's spring, because that's when shit thrives, there's flowers and shit everywhere, it's beautiful, Everyone's happy. There's followers again. God's like, yeah. And then I'm pretty sure that when Persephone travels back down to the underworld, that's autumn because things are starting to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are starting to die. And, Pers and Demeter's just like, damn it. <sighs> and then when Persephone is with Hades, it's winter because. Demeter's just fucking sad again. Like, shit, there's no pleasing this woman. God, get over it. So yeah, that's the uh, myth of Persephone and Hades and Demeter. And uh, it's, a, it's a good story. It's kind of entertaining, right? Kidnap. Incest. Famine. Um, seasons. Once again, there's good and bad morals. Pay attention to the good ones. Seriously. That's that's my number one selling point is um use yeah. your common sense. Oh, and watch your kids, Jesus. Watch your kids. Alright, uh so I changed locations because my parents came home and I really did not want them to see this because it's probably still gonna be horrible. I still don't think it's very funny. Maybe you guys got some uh entertainment out of it. I hope so. Um if you did, um, you can like it, share it, do whatever the fuck you want, leave a comment, who cares. Uh, huh. Maybe I'll do a second one. I don't know, I got a couple myths up my sleeve that I enjoy. The good one's Medusa. Oh, if you guys are a fan of bad morals, you're gonna love that one. A lot of good shit happens. Yep, that's right. God, the gods are just fucking assholes, right?